Anton Briskaway of Petrovich Pavlov. And I am standing up comic entertainer from Minsk. To understand humor of that joke, you must know Minsk is place nobody like to be from due to overwhelming despair and sorrowful living, much like your Tignish. <laughs> Remember first ever joke I tell. I share with you now. One morning as young child, I refused to eat my potato and boiled onion porridge. My mother, oh, my mother. <laughs> she scream at me. I will send you to mining camps in Trabol if you do not eat your porridge. I refuse. She scream at me still. I will, you, if you do not, I will send you, you will freeze to death in black, cold depths of Trabol mining camps, just like Uncle Ilya. Still, I refuse. I scream back to her, even if I went to cold, black depths of Trabol mines, still would be warmer than living under tyranny of your black, cold heart. And so, I take conditioning bell, abandon family, leave home at early age, and on journey of comic entertaining, I began. <laughs> Answer me this. How many women in Travol Mines does it take to screw in a light bulb? Before you answer, let me tell you the answer. <laughs> the answer is it takes zero women in Travol Mines to screw in a light bulb because there are no women in Trabol mines. <laughs> Only miners. Also, there are no light bulbs in Trabol mines. <laughs> Only darkness and sorrow. Hey, Tom. Finally, I have found you. Petra? Petra? Petra, what are you doing here? My brother. I've been searching for you for six months. I have distressing news. Mother is dead. Well, thank you, Petra, for that information. Oh, if you all excuse, I have standing up comedy to finish. So I Did you not hear me, Anton? I say mother is dead. Yeah, 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 I hear you. Why you not shed tea? Mother has been dead to me for 14 years. I not shed a tear today for mother. You must! It is our way! If you do not shed a tear, you'll be damning mother to eternal time in hell. You must shed tear! I will not shed tear! <laughs> Forgive intrusion. I continue comedy. <laughs> I continue comedy. Uh, so, I arrived in your city of Charlottetown yesterday, and I have a look around. Oh, it's very similar to Minsk, I think. Except here, people smile. Ah! <laughs> if you do not shed tea, I will make you shed tea. How you make me shed tear, little brother? Oh, you will cry, big brother, when you hear sad tale of how mother died. Papa oh, Squarefish. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know, Anton? On the day she died, she was knitting woolen sock. Mother's woolen sock? Thirteen pair of woolen sock is hanging on mantle. That is one pair for every year that you are not with the family. Oh! Oh! On the day she died, <laughs> she 
was making 14 pair no. of woolen socks. No! I hear no more! Stop the bell, Anton. <laughs> making me laugh. <laughs> On day she died, Gregor Stalenko come to visit. Gregor Stalenko, Russian mobster! Mm. No, Petra, no! No, I hear no more! I, I continue standing up on jokes. So, here, uh, here is a joke very common in Russia. Uh, knock, knock, who's there? KGB, open up. Ah! 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 You must listen. <laughs> On day she died, Gregor Stalinko burst into the door demanding money for payment for protection. No. Mother not have one ruble to offer. Gregor Stalinko, he don't care. He say he will take wool and sock <gasps> for payment instead. Gregor Stalinko, take my woolen socks! Mother refuse. <laughs> She says, they are Anton's golden sock. No, mother. He will be coming back home one day, she goes. No, mother, shush, hush, up. Gregor Stalinko, he don't care. No. He takes sock oh. and go to the door. Oh. Oh, 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 not so easy. Before you get to the door, mother, grab knitting needle and stab Gregor Stalinko in eye. Oh, no. Blind from knitting needle and wild with rage, he punched mother. Oh. In Blood is coming from her. Oh, no, 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 It make me disrespect mother. <laughs> On day she died, oh, yes. Gregor Stalinko tie her to chain. No. Set house on fire. No. <laughs> Whole house burned. Oh no! Woolen sock burned. Oh no! Went on, mother burned. No, mother! I'm sorry, I abandoned family. Oh! Went on. Went on. It is last woolen sock. This is the woolen sock mother was making on day she died. It is your sock, Anton. Take woolen sock and forgive mother. No! No, I cannot take the woolen sock! Why will you not take the woolen sock, brother? Because! Because! I'm allergic to wool. <laughs>